This is part three now of modeling a time machine for Blender Challenge number five. And this is the pod that I've got. <laughs> and it's probably at this point not very clear how this relates to a time machine. Uh, but now I'm, I'm starting to get somewhere in terms of my thinking. Uh, this is just part of it. So the scene is is getting bigger. Uh, originally it wasn't going to be a scene, but now it looks like it's going to be a little bit of a scene anyhow. But what I want to do right here is I want to do some more work on uh, on this. I'm just going to go ahead, I think, and uh, uh, organize this stuff uh, off camera, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got everything now in its own collection. I've got the body here, the door, the lights, and the window of some sort. Okay, so I want to do some more work over here. So here we go. So let's grab that area there. Bring the cursor there. I'm going to bring in um, I'm bring the plane. something different here, I've decided. I'll use this when I want to do something different. Those two, Shift D, move them out. P to break it out. Take these, scale them, and uh, let's increase the size of that. Yeah, 
for a moment. Select that cursor there. Circle of say 22. do that. Two or more, I'm not sure, but actually, before I do that, I think I will do this. to this guy and let's switch you just to two and convert it to a mesh. What happened there? Object. That's better. I want to do here. Let's uh, focus just on that.
Okay, that's that. That was the main thing I wanted to do there. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's just leave that for now. And let's show you what I'm thinking of next. I think I do though. Okay. Let's now move everything up. Okay, so I see that you are not in the center. I'll put it roughly like that because I've got all this exploded stuff, so that's why. This would actually be a little bit lower than that, I think. And um, I could probably just use that circle. Just take that, scale it in, break it out, just hide that, and just look at this guy here. So we got a subdivision on there already, okay. And I want to do something similar actually. Uh, select it. This is um, something different, so let's call this the, um, uh, I don't know, I'm going to call it laser, because you know, they may have some lights on it, um, and for lack of a better name for the moment, uh, let's just do that. Uh, we'll just touch it up though, because that's not yet. 
that what I want? Um, actually, maybe it is. If I just do this. Okay. Yeah. This piece here. In fact, probably should. So this guy here, I want to punch some holes through. spin uh, my computer tends to crash when I'm using my recording software so I'm gonna give it a try and we're gonna see what happens here so I got that I'm just going to do one of those. I've got that now. And I think I'll take this and I'll extrude it down. Give it a bit of thickness. And I'm going to put that in here and I'll scale it out so it fits. Like that. I'll shade it smooth. And we'll try this stuff. It's not perfect. We'll try it without that. Just leave it like that. Okay, so I have some kind of light there. Or a laser light show. I'll put some uh, emission underneath that or in there. We'll see exactly how I'm going to do that. I'm not quite sure yet. Okay, so we'd have this, and then we would do this. Let's see. What if I take this shifty P to break it out? Uh, for the moment, I'll get rid of the subdivision surface. And let's go in and S to scale. Kind of pretty central one. I'm going to get rid of some of these vertices there like that and let's try um let me try it this way by bringing it down and then beveling these let's see if i like that effect like that and then i would um convert it to a curve So 
I may have to adjust, you know, the thickness of this, which is fine. And that's what I will do, but that's, that's going to be okay. So let's do that. Uh, what's the easiest way to do this? How about this? there I always find if I copy from a curve just one point it doesn't work right for me so I'm gonna do it this way so that I know it's gonna work I'm gonna do that nothing wrong with resetting the scale but select the main body and set the origin geometry move my 3d cursor to there and let's copy these around a few times set the origin of the 3d cursor and i'm going to go shift to rotate set 90. okay let's just see where it shows up all right make sure it's looking okay yeah shift to rotate z let's say we go 90 again where does it end up nope that's all i want there Shifty rotate Z 180. Alright, cool. Shifty rotate Z 45. Shifty rotate Z 90 again. I think that's probably enough. Yeah, as you can see. See there, as you can see here, I've got flips. I flip these polys and these ones too. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's leave it like that. All right. So this whole structure. Is going to come be smaller now. Okay, so that's going to create some kind of a lighting effect, laser, plasma, who knows. Um, let's bring it all up now. So we'll have that. Uh, I may change the shape of this because I'm thinking of some technology and I hear some gas cylinders and some pipes and stuff. We will have some, I will adjust the position of all this so that the pot is directly over that. Um, we'll have some other stuff on here and uh, so that it really becomes more of a time machine itself. But that's, uh, that's, I, that's what I wanted to accomplish there. Let's see that I've got some other pieces in here that I may have been working on at one point and I'm going to get rid of those and I'm gonna uh, commit I think to uh, maybe those windows just commit to that you can always change that very easily all right so there's more work to do still on the pod and on the entire thing 
but that's that's part three.